Class. Happy Monday and welcome back to our second week of fractions. Woo -woo. Okay, so super excited to start some more fractions with you today. But as always, you know, first we have to go over our success criteria, which is our end goal that we're going to reach by the end of this math lesson. And it's right here. And then we'll go over our success criteria, which is the steps that we're going to take to reach our goal, and then we'll get started. So, as always, repeat after Ms. Peterson. This is our goal for math today. I can, very good, read and understand fractions. Your turn. But wait, there's more. And I can write... Very good, you should be saying it. A fraction that correctly matches your turn. Very good, a partition shape. Your turn. Very good, remember partition means to cut or separate. So a partitioned shape, we're talking about 2D shapes, a partition Shape is always partitioned into equal parts. And those equal parts are what make up the fraction. So a fraction is just a fancy way to say like a piece or pieces of the partitioned shape. The shape altogether, remember we learned this last week, the shape altogether is a whole. Very good. Okay, And now let's go over our success criteria, how we're going to reach our goal. I'm just, the letters are small. Let me bring it up so you can chant it with me. Okay, here is our success criteria. Bam. Okay, read it with Miss Peterson. I am successful when I count how many parts of the shape there are, and I write it, that number, at the bottom of my fraction. We talked about that last week. We're going to go over that to remind you because I know it's been the weekend. We need to refresh our brains. Also, I count how many of those parts are colored in and I write that number at the top of my fraction. Okay. The last thing we're going to do to reach our goals, I can read my fraction out loud correctly, saying it with using the right math terms and vocabulary. Excellent. So keep these in mind while we're doing our lesson today. So here is our agenda. First, we're going to, we did our success criteria and our goal. We're warming up. Then we're doing our awesome fraction lesson. And then after this video, right after it, the exit ticket is just doing the fun little Monday math fraction worksheet. There's a fun math fraction worksheet every day. And then as a reward on Friday, I planned a fun fraction craft. Intent. It has to do with rainbows. Very cute. He uses a decoration. Very fun. Okay, so that's that. Let's get started. I'm gonna tape the first page on my whiteboard. Do, 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 do. Okay, name that fraction. But wait, Miss Peterson, we forgot how. Guess what? I have the steps right here on every page to remind us our success criteria. So we can check it and remember what we're supposed to. So, this is a whole fraction, a whole shape, okay? But we have to write it as a fraction part according to the colored in um, partitioned pieces. So, all together, this is a 2D shape. Which 2D shape is it? It's a, very good, it's a circle, okay? This, a circle is the whole, but wait! It's partitioned. It's cut in the pieces. Let's count how many pieces it's partitioned into. One, two, three, four. So think back to last week. Remember, we were doing this with, um, there was pictures that looked like piece, whole pizzas and some pieces of pizza were missing. Those were the partition shapes, part of the whole pizza. So, this week, we're just going over it as we'll see it um, for years to come. There's going to be 2D shapes. But 
to get you learning last week we were pretending it was food so this week you're only going to see real shapes okay let's read our steps step one count how many parts the shape is split into or partitioned we did that how many was it four very good there is four so we did that check step two write that number down at the bottom part of your fraction okay they said the step said two Remember, you have to draw a line, and there was four. This shape, this whole shape is partitioned to four equal parts. So, see how each partitioned part is equal? If this was a pizza, I would say it would be fair to split up the pizzas, piece of pizza, because they're all the same size. Because if it, they weren't the same size, then if you had to share that, and split it up with like your brothers and sisters, you wouldn't feel ripped off. Like it's not equal, not fair. So just remember that, is this equal? Would that be fair if I shared it? If the answer is yes, then they are equal partitioned parts. And if the answer is no, then they're not equal parts, okay? Okay, anyways, so it's partitioned to four equal parts. Good, so we put a line, we put a four at the bottom, but wait, there's more. Okay, step three, count how many of those parts are colored in. Well, obviously, people, how many parts are colored in? One, one, one red equal part is colored in. Okay, so we counted that, say so check. Now let's see what the last step four is. Step four, write that number down as the top part of your fraction. Easy peasy lemon, squeezy. So. One colored in part, put it at the top. And remember we read, it's part of our success criteria to be correctly pronounced and read the fraction terms. We wouldn't just say one over four. You have to read it correctly as a fraction. You say one fourth. Okay, repeat after Miss Peterson, one fourth. Very good. So that means this whole shape circle is partitioned into fourths. Everybody say fourths. Very good. And this is how you would write fourths. Fourths. Excellent. Okay. So that is what we're going to do for practice. You're going to do some with Miss Peterson for a couple more shapes. And at the end, I have some for you to do on your own at home because you're following a long. Excellent, fabulous. Next one. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. Name that fraction. Like we're on a game show. Like when we did game show in our classroom, I should have brought home my microphone, maybe next week. Okay, step one. Count how many parts the shape is split into or partitioned into. And of course, this is the 2D shape called a circle again. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy, how many parts, equal parts? One, two. So if this was a pizza, they're both the same size, they're equal. And guess what? If you were sharing that pizza, you get a lot of pizza. I want to share this one. Okay. So we counted how many. Oh, it's separated or partitioned into one, two. So we did step one. Check. Remember, follow along with the steps because when you're by yourself, you're going to do these steps by yourself. Step number two. Write that number down as the bottom part of your fraction. Okay, let's do it. There was two equal parts of this circle. It's partitioned into two equal parts. We draw the line. The total amount of equal parts goes at the bottom of the fraction. Hint, hint. That means this fraction is partitioned into halves. Okay, so if there's, it's, if it, there's two equal parts, two pieces, it's always halves. And remember, when half is plural, you turn the F into a V-E-S, halves. Okay, so step number two, we did that. We wrote it down. 
Okay, step number three. Count how many of those parts are colored in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ooh, and it's Miss Peterson's favorite color, purple. Okay, how many pieces are colored in? This one. So step four, write that number down at the top of your fraction. Okay. So this, you would say this 2D shape is partitioned into halves, but to read, if you were reading just this part, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say one over two, you say one half. Everybody say one half. Excellent. And that's easy because when you think about it, there's two equal parts. So if this was a cookie, you say, hey, can I have half of your cookie? They break it in half, it's equal one half. Excellent. I hope you're following along on a piece of paper or you're watching the screen really good and get in your brain smarter with fractions. Okay. Now it's your turn to name the fraction. Ooh, and this one I put some, this one looks like pizza a little bit. Okay, your turn, name that fraction. Don't forget the steps. I put them there to help you, as always. Step number one. Count how many parts the shape is split or partitioned in two. Let's do it. Count with Miss Peterson. One, two, three, four, and five. Five equal parts. Five pieces of pizza. Okay, so you step number two. Write that number down as the bottom part of your fraction. So we have to draw the line and put five at the bottom because there's five equal parts, five pieces that are the same size. So we did that. Step two, check. Step number three, count how many of those parts are colored in or colored in looking like a pizza. Eee, pepperoni, see? So, how many do you see? Count them. One. Just one. We did that. Check. And last step, step number four. Write that number down as the top part of your fraction. So, we see one pepperoni piece of pizza colored in. So, we put one at the top. So, how you would pronounce this fraction is one fifth. Everybody say one fifth. Because one out of the five is colored in, is left. One fifth. Excellent. Okay. Next one, here we go. Now, these are all 2D shapes. We only do fractions on 2D shapes. But it was fun to learn about the 3D shapes, wasn't it? Okay. Your turn, name the fraction. Okay. Step number one is always count how many parts the shape is partitioned or split into. Let's count them. All of them all together as a whole. One, two, three, four, and five. Step number two, write the number down as the bottom part of your fraction. Okay. Just like last time there was five pieces of pizza, this shape is partitioned to five equal parts because they're all the same size. So we did step one and two, check, check. Step number three, count how many of those parts are colored in. It's a pretty blue tealish color. Count that, those ones that are colored in that pretty color. Ready, let's count. One, two, and three. Three. So then you write at the top, three out of the five are colored the pretty color. Step number four, write that number down at the top part. We did that in step three. Check, step three, check, step four. So this fraction, you would say three fifths. Say it. Very good, because three out of the five altogether are colored in. Three fifths. Bam. And, ooh, this one looks like 
those delicious um, giant circle, like this big cookie cakes that you can order um, from cookie places. And they're at the grocery store too. Ooh, or pizookies. That's what it looks like. Your turn. Name that fraction. Okay, step number one. Count how many parts the shape is split or partitioned in two. Ooh, and if you were sharing this, you would get a giant chunk of cookie. Look at that. Okay, let's count them. Ready? Count. One, two, and three. So there's three chunks of the cookie cake all together. But if it's, you're just saying it's a circle, there's three equal parts made up of this whole. So three parts make up the whole. It's a circle, but I'm pretending it's a cookie cake. So there's three all together. Step number two, write that number as the bottom part of your fraction. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So we draw the line. There's three equal parts, three equal pieces of cookie cake. So we put it at the bottom. Step one and two, check, check. Step three, count how many of those parts are colored in or look like a cookie. Okay, let's do it. One, two. Put that number at the top. The tippy, tippy top. Okay. Step four was to write it at the top. So we did step three. Check. Step four. Check. So, now we're done. Do do do. All together, you would pronounce this fraction as two thirds. Everybody say two thirds. Very good. So, this shape, as a whole, it was partitioned into thirds, like third grade, which is the grade that all of you are going to next year. Thirds. Fabulous. Okay, now, I feel like you guys are getting the groove of this, and you guys are mastering it, because I know you, you're so smart. Now we're gonna play a little review game, true or false. So you better be paying attention and you better be ready to shout true or false at your screen or quick write it down. And pretend I'm there to see it and hold it up. Okay, so how we're gonna play is, uh, there, I'm gonna show you a picture of a partitioned shape, 2D shape. And there's going to be some parts shaded in, some equal parts shaded in, and some parts not. you got to remember your success criteria and remember, and remember your steps that we just did the last, like, five times. And um, I'm going to read a fraction. You're going to say, yes, it's that fraction, so true or false. It's not that fraction. So you'll see what I mean. We're going to do the first one together, and the rest will be shouting out by yourself. And then I'll, you can check your work, because I'm going to give you the answer, but I'm going to give you some time to come up with the answer on your own, because this is your independent practice. Show what you know, what you learned. Okay. True or false? So this one's a warm-up we're doing together, so you know how to play. There is a partition shape. It's a circle. Okay, so we're doing it together. Remember, step one is to count how many pieces all together. One, two, three, four. There's four equal parts. So this circle is partitioned into four equal parts. So we draw the line, put a four. Okay, now step number two, we count how many equal parts are shaded in, colored in. Count with Miss Peterson. One, two, and three. So you put that number at the tippy tippy top, remember? Do -do 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 -do. Each piece of lemon squeezy. So you would pronounce this fraction as three fourths. It's partitioned into fourths. But guess what? Right here it says. Two fourths. Is that true or false? Um, we just did it, and we did each step very carefully. We know that this shape, the fraction term to pronounce this shape is three fourths. 
not too far. So it's not true. It's false. So if you were doing this by yourself, you could write down or shout out false. But I don't want you just guessing. You have besides saying true or false, you have to find out the real fraction to show that you know what you're doing. So now you see how to do it. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, I'm gonna tape it up and then I'm gonna give you some time to try true or false by yourself. But remember, you can't just say true or false. You gotta say the real fraction. And they're not all false like the review. There's some true, there's some false, they're mixed up. And then I'll, we can check our answers so you know if you were correct. If you're doing your steps, how I taught you just now, then you should be good to go, okay? Here we go. True or false? I'm just gonna show you the picture and read you the fraction term and you decide. Use your steps. True or false? Is this shape showing two thirds? True or false? Okay. Let's check your answers. You should have shouted out. Okay. So first, remember step one, count how many there are, equal parts there are all together. One, two, and three. Okay, very good. And the next step, count how many are shaded in. Okay, one, two. So two out of the three are colored in. So you would pronounce that as two thirds. And what do you know? What did it say right here? Two thirds. So you should have said true. Who said true? Wave your hands in the air. Woohoo! Give yourself pat on the back. You were correct. This shape is partitioned into thirds because there's three equal parts, equal pieces. And two of them are shaded in two thirds. You guys are getting this down, I feel like. You guys are very smart. Okay, two more trues or falses. Then we're going to see if we reached our goal. And then you guys get to go off on your own and do your fun math um, worksheet practice for today. Okay, where's my tape? Here's my tape. Here we go. True or false? Bam! Put it closer so you can do all your steps. Don't forget your steps. Oh, let me read it to you. Is this shape showing a fraction term one half? True or false? Okay. You should have shouted it out, wrote it down, or done both. Let's check it out. Let's check it together. Okay, step number one, as always, is to count how many partitions, equal parts, there are all together in the whole. Let's count them. One, two, three, and four. There's four equal parts. So step two is you write the how many parts there are at the bottom of your fraction. Step number three, you count how many parts are colored or shaded in. So there's four equal parts, and I only see one shaded in. And step four, you write that number at the top. Circle it. Okay. So this fraction, this partition chip is showing the fraction one fourth. So that is not the same as one half, so this is false. Who said false? Who got it correct? I bet everyone did. Yourself out in the back. You guys are smart, you pants. Okay, last one. Try your best. Best time, last time. Last time, best time. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, bam, 
we did this one together too. I want everyone to get 100% on this one. True or false? Is this partition shape showing the fraction one half? True or false? <gasps> you guys are correct. It is because how many pieces? Step one, count how many pieces are partitioned all together. One, two. You write that number at the bottom of your fraction. And step number two, count how many of those pieces are shaded in. Just one. You put that number at the tippy tippy top. Circle it. This shape is showing the fraction one half. And another way to think about this is this with pizza. If this was a cookie, is this an equal part? If you broke it in half to share it, half of it is shaded in or gone if you're sharing and you're giving it away. One half. So this is partitioned into halves. Let me remind you, show you that you, remember when you make it plural, that means more than one. You get rid of the F. Change it to V-E-F. Halves. It just sounds so much better. Halves. One half. Very good. I bet everyone got 100% on that one because I know you guys and I know you guys are smarty fans. So, now let's go over our success criteria and learning targets and see if we reached our goal for this math lesson. Here we go. Remember, our end goal was to read and understand fractions and to write a fraction that correctly matches a partitioned shape. So, did we read fraction and use fraction words and terms? Fraction vocab words? Yes. And did we write those down? Yes. And did we write fractions correctly with the number on top and bottom? Yes. Very good, say so check. Step number two, or goal number two. We were going to write them correctly and match them to the shape. We just kind of went over that. Yep, we did that too. Check. Very good, we reached our goal. Give yourself a hand back. Okay, so now go to the Monday folder and do your fun fraction worksheet for today. And if you don't have your printer, as always, just copy it, look at the screen, copy it down onto a separate piece of paper. And I hope you guys have fun today doing the rest of your work and keep working hard every day. It's almost the last day of school. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Okay. So, but we still got to keep working hard until the very last day to be third grade ready. Okay, so have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!